Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps on how to install Windows Admin Center on Windows 11 computer. Windows Admin Center is a locally deployed browser-based application for managing Windows servers, clusters, hyperconverged infrastructure, as well as Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers. Windows Admin Center gives us full control over all aspects of our server infrastructure and is particularly useful for managing servers that are not connected to the internet. It is a free product and is ready to use in production environment. This is our domain join Windows 11 computer and we have login to this computer with the domain administrator's username and password. In the first step, we need to download Windows Admin Center setup file. Open Microsoft Edge web browser to download the Windows Admin Center setup file. In the address bar, type URL aka .ms slash WSC download and press enter key. The download will start automatically. We can also download the latest version of Windows Admin Center from Microsoft Evaluation Center. Under Windows Server Products and Resources, look for Windows Admin Center and select Continue. With the setup file downloaded, let's now install it. Navigate to the download directory and initiate the installation. We can see the Windows Admin Center package with the version 2306. To install Windows Admin Center, let's double click on the setup which we have just downloaded. Windows Installer is preparing for installation. We can see the message. It is preparing to install Windows Admin Center on this Windows 11 computer. On the Windows Admin Center setup screen, select I accept these license terms and click Next. For sending diagnostic data to Microsoft, there are two options. Select Required Diagnostic Data option if you want to send information about your installation of Windows Admin Center, its settings and capabilities to Microsoft. Or select Required and Optional Diagnostic Data option to send information about how you use features plus additional information about application health, activity, and error reporting. Select the appropriate option for you. Since this is a test environment, I'll choose Required and Optional Diagnostic Data option. Click Next to continue. On Windows 11 PC, we can update the Windows Admin Center via Microsoft Update. Select Use Microsoft Update when I check for Updates option and click Next. Remember, that is recommended option. Once we install the Windows Admin Center, we can manage computers directly from this PC using a web browser. Click Next to continue. Now, we must select a port for the Windows Admin Center site. By default, the Windows Admin Center uses port number 6516. However, we can enter a different port number if required. We will go with the default port number which is 6516. Let me select this checkbox to create a desktop shortcut to launch Windows Admin Center. Click on Install to begin the installation process. The installation should commence now. The installation process will take few seconds to complete the Windows Admin Center installation on this Windows 11 computer. The Windows Admin Center installation on Windows 11 is completed. The next important step is to select a certificate for Windows Admin Center web interface. Click on Finish. Let me minimize the download directory. Let's close Microsoft Edge web browser. We have the shortcut icon of Windows Admin Center on our desktop. Let's double click on Windows Admin Center shortcut icon to launch Windows Admin Center web interface. This is prompting us to select a certificate for authentication. We are going to use the self-signed certificate 
created for Windows Admin Center client. Let's select it and click on OK. You can see the URL https colon double slash localhost colon 6516. You can see the message successfully installed Windows Admin Center version 2306. Let's close it. This is the name of our local computer. Currently, Windows Admin Center is updating the extensions. This will take few seconds to complete the process. Let's wait for the update process to complete. We can see the confirmation message. It has successfully updated all extensions available with Windows Admin Center. Click on OK. This will reload Windows Admin Center. OK. This is our local Windows 11 computer. We have connected using the domain administrator's account. We can now add our servers or other computers by clicking on the add button. Choose the type of resource that you want to add. For example, I want to add a Windows Server 2022 domain controller. On the servers, click on add. Clicking on the option will be required to provide the host name for the server. Or we can use import a list or search from active directory option. Here, I'm going to type the host name of our server, which is ws 2022 msftwebcastcom in our case. Windows Admin Center has found our server. Click on add to add that server to Windows Admin Center. We can see the confirmation message, successfully added connection to our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Now, the added server will appear on the management dashboard. Click on our server name to connect to our server. Now, we should see the overview tab of our Windows Server 2022 in Server Manager console. Still, certain information are being updated here. Let's wait for a few seconds to update all the information. Here we can see the computer name, free disk space, domain name, processor information, operating system, and other information. Here we can see the CPU, memory, and network utilization. Navigate using the left panel to view the various system information and services. For example, let's click on rules and features. Now, using Windows Admin Center web interface, we can install or uninstall rules and features on Windows Server 2022. So now, from this Windows 11 computer, using Windows Admin Center, we can manage our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. That's all for this video on how to install a Windows Admin Center on Windows 11 computer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.